Okay, I'm back. You notice we got the water bucket there. We got Honey Nut Cheerios, uh, Dry Dog, Kibble. Another bucket of water there. We got peanut butter sandwiches. And I'm going to put out some uh, apple cinnamon cake. They like that. And they also like banana bread. I put that out for them. They ate that last night. The banana bread. And we have grapes in there for later. <coughs> Here we go. Sammy, look at that. You gonna have some water? Huh? You gonna have some water, bud? There you go. Have a good drink. That's nice and cold, right out of the well, boy. 300 foot well I got here. I got a jet pump that uh, pumps the water up. So we don't have to buy um, bottled water because it's better than bottled water, the stuff we got here. You see another raccoon? Is that what you see? Huh? Very territorial, aren't you? This is your place. He was born here. Uh, he was one of the little ones we had here last. He came here in June, early June. And he stayed until uh, winter, and then he wintered up. And so he's had enough to eat. See, they went through a pound of hot dogs, him and the other fella. So they wintered up, and uh, he's back again. Gizmo, uh, he was born late November. So there he's leaving now. He'll be back again. Gizmo was born. Uh, come on up, bud. He's away. Come on. Come on. So anyway, Gizmo was here born last... November, so we had to feed him all over the winter. And uh, when Fula was here, uh, he was coming every night. I got no hot dogs, buddy. I didn't thaw any out. I just took the one pound out. Well, look over here. Sandwiches. You want some sandwiches? Do you? You want to get a sandwich? Go get a sandwich. Hurry up. Go get a sandwich. What is it? Oh, you got a little bit of fracking going on there, haven't you? Fur, fur cracking, they call it. When the temperature changes quick, they they lose their fur. I got no sand. I got nothing here, bud. It's all on the floor, bud. Go have a drink of water. There. Yeah, you don't want that. You're gonna have that later, is it? You want a sandwich? You want a piece of cake? You don't know what you want, do you? You want dry kibble? You're going to have a sandwich, are you? Okay, have a sandwich. I think i got two cans of Vienna sausage left. I can give you that. Huh? I'm without my car for a whole week. It's in the garage. I'm getting the, the um, new muffler put on it, and the ball joint, and uh, rack and pinion being put in it. So that's going to be costly. Well, i got no power steering. What are you doing? Oh, that's a... Uh, Sammy's coming back, is he? Is Sammy coming back? So what's going on? Huh? So what's your name anyway? We didn't name you, did we? Huh? He's trusting. He's uh, he's staying with me anyway. I had a lady from YouTube write me today. She's uh she started feeding the uh, two raccoons and uh, people told her that they're vi they're very vicious and they'll bite you and all this stuff. Well 20 years, this is 20 years I've been doing this. I've never been attacked or ever bitten. You treat them with kindness and they uh, they appreciate it and they don't bite the hand that feeds them and I've never had one being aggressive. Now he'll get aggressive here now with him. He'll shoot off his mouth. But that's the only aggressiveness you see is with each other. Well, they're pretty. They're a pretty nice animal. I, I just love them. Don't I? Huh? You coming up, Sammy? Or you? Oh, you got something to eat? Have you? You got something? <laughs> now, who's the aggressor? Huh? Who's the aggressor? 
That's the only viciousness you see. They're at each other. I don't know where he went. To throw a sandwich down to him. Where'd you go, bud? Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. I'll throw a sandwich down to him. I'll throw a sandwich down to him. See, they don't bother me. They just get away from me when I get up close to them. Uh, let's see if you'll go get that. Yeah, he got the sandwich down there. Come on up here where everybody can see you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on up. And you know, like I have my bird feeders I have out every day and uh but I gotta take them in every night, even though they got lost to eat, they'll still raid my bird feeders. But you know what? They don't they don't touch anybody's garbage around here. Never had any complaints about them doing that. But I mean when the when the raccoon doesn't like crusts on the sandwiches, what makes you think he's gonna have a gar go in the garbage? <laughs> Anyway, I guess that'll be it. I'm going to go back and watch hockey. And turn the lights off and uh, there'll be more coming later on.